spin for CEX Esports, and it certainly is as that bomb goes off right as we load back on in. And you can see now the economy is coming on through. Not much there for Wigers. And this is one of those big problems with the CT side. If you get caught out, you get caught with things like the SMGs, it can be very difficult to try and pull. While CX pushed together a ramshackle by with Scout and that Mac 10, they still have those three rifles and a lot of utility left, for example, on the Cypher here. Nice spray there from Impact. As you see an attempt from Song to try and come out and stop that. Nice stuff, though. Frag comes back on three, empty goes down, but we see frags back and forth, and those deagles, definitely deadly dealers of death for deaths here. It will be even Stevens at 1-1. One, one. We are bad luck. Stream is always bad luck. Curse is curse. You know how it be. Um, but CX Esports, starting off this round well, but dropping a couple of players who they didn't really, really didn't want to. There's now going to be rifles abound for the three remaining players, but dropping those two players when they were in that situation wasn't exactly how they wanted to be, and they don't have any map control. Yeah. Uh, this is a best of three. I'll get you the maps in a second once I'm sure that nothing's going to crash. Um, but I believe... I'm going to get you the maps now, actually. Well, you know what? You deserve it, chat. You deserve it. Um, and smoke comes on in. So this is a nice smoke, and it allows for a little bit of lurk here as they're trying to push on up. They haven't smoked across, but it's not too much of a problem. They have... Well, actually, sorry, they have. I'm wrong. Uh, I thought the smoke would show up on many map. I'm used to it doing that. Uh, but this is going to be CEX Esports. Very much on sight. They're trying to check on the very last second here. They lose a player as they try and go for that plant, but at least manage to get one back. And now it's even players. I find a one angle manages to swing out in the nick of time and saves their teammate's life. Good stuff there. It's down to deaths with this deagle. And they're not letting him take those angles, which can be so fantastic for it. Murky starting to swing out wide. The utility goes on in watching. For the attempt to peek, it's the bait, swings out wide, knows they have that weapon advantage, and very much flaunts it because they have it. CX Esports taking that round two, and Liger's feeling that money, not feeling so great, and more than anything, they're looking to try and save up here, look for that next round, pick up a couple of rifles if they can, that's why you're seeing the CZ come out, um, but for the most part, play it low key, play it low key. So, the maps are Inferno, as obviously you're seeing, uh, Overpass, and then if we make it to that side, it's going to be Mirage. This is CEX's pick, so they sh should be set up to try and pick this one up. So definitely hold them to that. If they don't manage to pick this up, they are in for a world of hurt, hurt later on in this series. I don't know why. Running on no defense. Fun. Flashing their teammate on in. Murky is going to make that peak, but no one quad right now. They've backed away from that position, really seeded it to CX Esports. And this means that Wigers keeping their players alive and able to rotate on over, but they don't have a lot of control of that particular position. They're trying to contest back for it now, but there's a smoke in the way. They have pistols. But in numbers, they certainly can do it. Nice spot there by Murky as he finishes off a couple. You do see one player go down. Ifan does fall, but they're not even able to pick up that rifle. It's going to be CZ picked up for OMG as he's trying to pick up whatever he can. But the pieces just aren't there. They're not going to be able to pick this one. And Impact takes the kill. CEX with a strong start, but they're back up against rifles now. And this is going to be, again, a very key round. So, let's talk about rifles, talking about spending, spending economy, but right now you could see, for example, Oka, Soka, with this MP9. Has a lot of utility to make up for that and is really looking to set up their team right now. Has that defuse kit as well to try and make things happen, but pushing on through the smoke, a very aggressive play here from Cypher, and will go down for it. It's not too bad, but that means Soka might be able to pick up one of these rifles. Molly coming in, very much denying them that, that chance, and they start to back on off a play. Being made towards B here, three members of Weigers remain on this A site. It's going to be hard. As Weigers dealing with four players pushing on in with only one, and as much as I think there's definitely an opportunity for Soka to find something here, it's gonna be hard and uh, he doesn't actually find anything to smoke off means as well that Weigers' player in CT, uh, some, papi some pious, I almost could him some papaya there, but 
and won't be able to find anything either. You can see all of them sitting back there, and this is a very CT thing to do. They're not going for this push. They, there's no way they're going to really make it. They want to keep these weapons and try and get something somewhere, because they know they can force something off of having weapons, but if they don't, well, they're dead in the water, and CX Esports will just roll over on these rounds where they don't have the economy to buy. So, hello again. Uh, now we've had this brief respite after the hectic start to this stream. I am Rook, and I am bringing you Weigers versus CEX Esports. This is the MDL Europe Climber Cup. And, uh, well, good start for CEX Esports here on their own map here on Inferno. We've got Overpass. Vertigo. Okay. Sorry, no. Uh, Mirage, sorry. Uh, coming in as those last two maps. Mirage only coming out if we make it all the way to the very end. I apologize. That was a sneeze. Um, but we've also got a pause coming on in. And this is good um, for Vigas. They want to try and take this time out. Figure out what they were going to do. Because as we know, they've got those three rifles. How are they going to allocate them? Are they going to force around it? So for example, Soka has 4k could potentially go for something alongside this, and that's obviously because they got a couple of those kills. Uh, sorry, got a kill um, with that SMG. Got them a little bit of money in that bank. And this should allow them to really decide what they're going for. I expect to see some kind of force, maybe a strong pistol? Uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a drop towards them, and they are going to go all up around that, and you'll see a lot of forces in this match. Thank you, Pseudo Moika. I really needed that. My, my PC is uh, cursed, so blessing it would, uh, and me, obviously, very helpful here. And you can see some players watching this angle, trying to contest, but the SG doesn't land. Lucky not to find that one, the Molly forces players out, and some players not ready on that shot, not expecting the repick from Murky. I mean, definitely have to be wary of those more aggressive plays, but they are at least going to be able to pick up this AWP and back on off. Speaking of these cheeky plays, Deaths waiting just around the corner on top of this railing. Cypher, if he doesn't check it, with him and Impact could be going down quickly. But unfortunately, given away that flash, they them out and they finally spot him as they come around the corner. However, Cypher falls for this mistake. Uh, Sargon able to find a couple of shots there before finally falling. Orb still in the hands of um, Somg, sorry, OMG. Uh, but they're just looking to find a couple of kills. That is undoubtedly a mistake. I would argue, because you don't want to push out. You don't want to lose that orb. You had a chance to force up again here, uh, but players like soccer don't actually have any more economy. So, kind of stuck in this awkward position. I, I couldn't possibly have favorites, Pseudo Moika. Um, you know me. Ever the impartial uh, caster. As much as I am on the M4 channel, I'm fully aware that that means impartiality is not necessary, but, you know, I like to keep it. It allows me to make statements like, damn, Cypher is good at hitting those shots. Takes down some players early, but a nice sneaky play from Sargon will eventually net him his own death, but did at least find something. Um, and these Eagles, they're not feeling too bad about it. They got one kill, they took away a rifle, and they're still set up for buying in the next round. So they didn't force up on that one because they didn't have any of those rifles left, and instead decided, wait a sec, we'll use that, and we'll keep on going. So, all up in the hands of some pious again. Just to see how... Oh, wait, that's not actually um, Sargon. That's Argon. Sorry, Aragon. Oh, I'm stupid. I cannot read. I keep on seeing the S at the end of Weigers uh, and thinking it's actually part of the name. Just like I was calling it Ong, Song. Aragon's a much better name. But right now, unfortunately, not looking like such a heroic figure. As much as they are one of the higher fracking members of their team, a team as a whole has been struggling on this CT side. CX right now. I'm on a bit of a train on them, as much as we are off the train. HE's coming on in and setting up for a little bit of damage. Soak up. Taking that. Deciding to go aggressive anyway. HE's return fire. And MT goes rather low there. Good one coming on through. Murky 
gonna set up a bit of information and starts to move on forward after swapping into that AK. So I think the power will catch it. It's after six, continues to fire a couple of those shots out. Impact doesn't manage to find all too much. He does that six damage, but OMG is able to shut him down. And Weiger's now in a pretty good position. They have the player advantage and a lot of utility invested into Banana that hasn't really led to much. In fact, Cypher tries to push him forward and actually goes down for it. There is the refrag, but Ifan is going to have to take down Aragon here. And Aragon waiting up in the box. They haven't checked for him, and that is just so free. Manages to stop him and... That sets them up well. You can see MT trying to make a play on forward. They have the money to buy up. They have more than enough, for example. Multiple players on those five-digit bank accounts. But while well, he was able to pick up a um, round. And also pick up a rifle. It's an iPhone. Okay, that's my bad. I apologize. I've been playing too much uh, Divinity. Uh, the maps, by the way, are Inferno, Overpass, and then we, if we make it to that Decider, Mirage, uh, with CEX picking this map, and obviously Weigers picking Overpass. Come back, definitely is real. But it's gonna be hard. That is a good start. Very big, aggressive plays at Banana. Broad strokes, allowing them to make a couple of plays here. By this good spray down as well doesn't quite finish off murky but that he might just do it he dodges on through and now he might just push that smoke no one is covering his position he flicks on over but doesn't find that headshot and will just sneak back on out some players takes a little bit of time. it's gonna be down to death to really hold the position back here and unfortunately MT flushes them right out and with that advantage now on this site they have a bit of time to try and push on through but you can see the rotate coming through already Soka is waiting in position with a good shot, but they do lose impact for us. What's the difference in terms of HP? CEX deciding they don't want to go for this. Might catch them on the end there, but just about misses, misses that rotate. You can see Soka rushing for it, takes it down Murphy, and that is fantastic for them as Aragon will pick up that last kill. And Weigers, well, people are talking about the comeback. It's definitely possible now. Is that actually his name? Arcadius Dabkowski. That is a litty name, I have to say. CX. Strung together a couple of rounds at the start. Will it, will it show you? No, it doesn't show you the round record on here, unfortunately. It's a little bit broken right now. Hopefully we'll be able to get that fixed at some point, but as of late, not really been able to get that working. Really. Here. Really nice in buying time and gives a lot of information about, about the position of CX Esports on the map. Flash will allow Pius to move back to this position. But you can see the rotate potentially coming on in here from the eye. So, but that's not a good kill, takes out OMG and they clear all the positions. Murky doing a good job. With Cypher setting up those smokes, this could be exactly what they need. A bit of a spray there as Ifan almost takes down their own member. Close, but no cigar. And instead, he turns his arms to bear on soccer. Tries to fucking that wallbang that does Sun Pius. But unfortunately, wasn't Pius enough not praying to a god and finding that one. It's five versus three. And Weigers, you can see them backing off. They don't want to play for this. They don't want to make this attempt. It's not good for them. They'll lose out on this. Uh, this Losing out on that AWP certainly will hurt in the coming rounds. Nice snuff. Arrogant finding one in the exit there. Cypher overextending a little bit, but it's not too bad for their team. You can get dropped by Impact or Murky or MT. Any of those players. This is more than enough in the bank if you fund a new gun. You know, that's what friends are for. CE Esports, CEX Esports playing together and playing well uh, right now. Not much disparity between their frags, and they've been very on top of it as a whole. So, solid stuff. As much as you, you keep on saying that Ifan wants HL TV rating, he's been pretty good on working with the team so far. That's just coming on very but Not leaning you all too much. Could be a boost. Into a very interesting position here from Arangan. He's got a great angle there and manages to take down impact. And it's 
positions like that that really lead to a lot of their good stuff. Right now, CX down a player and deciding to turn themselves onto this B site. But they have had a lot of success before. These smokes should not be in a good position. Cypher, very aware, but a good shot through the smoke. And he dinks with the player. I don't think he realizes he thinks that's the wall. They don't know, but finally they cease lacking the critical information. Cypher will pick that one up and CEX get this bomb down with a player advantage. And Weigers give up on this one. But they've still got a lot more rounds in which they can try to pick up that W. So, very much setting up for a T-side where they should feel a little bit more comfortable. Wigers, what they really need to do here uh, is solidify some of these defenses. These cheeky plays, I like to see. But what I want to see is a little bit more respect for CEX. Winning some of those angles as well obviously always helps, but you shouldn't be giving up players in that banana and you shouldn't be losing players like this. This is really harmful to the economy. The pit player, while finding one, likely to go, doesn't go down. Death manages to take out Ethan. I expected Ethan to hit that shot, but it doesn't happen. Certainly looking good for CEX right now. And as you say, lots of different players. And, you know, from different teams, making a bit of a comeback, but that's exactly what CEX should be, you know? Getting those off, putting it together, putting it to good use, and that's exactly what they're doing here. They're coming together and uh, taking this W right now over Weigers uh, here on this first map. They're looking very comfortable. On the T side for, for at least now. Obviously, we've seen teams crumble when it comes to the CT side, but definitely interesting. Soka. That's the kind of angle I like to see him hold. And good smokes will mean they have to push on through into him. But I think that's actually the first time they've given Soka that or. MG. Getting angle. He's down one, and then with the backup from Soka. Exactly what I was asking for. Three quick kills and, well, he's cleaned up CEX Esports there. So, really nice stuff from this player who has been struggling and often spearheading that defense in a banana and oftentimes losing out on all the players for it. This is a good spray down. Not quite good enough. Didn't quite finish off Sun Pius and that could have been something quite spectacular for a second there. So up. 12 and 9. Very much leading their team. After that 4k coming out. Aragon was trying to keep pace, but with that, didn't quite do it. And CX, they still have the money. They still have the way to make these plays and could be setting up for it. Unfortunately, not respecting these odds. I guess definitely pretty strong with them. Holding these angles. Seem to be CX did pick Inferno, yes. Mirage is our last map, uh, and Overpass is our second, that is obviously quite good. Oh, we might not make it to that final map, because right now, CX looking pretty comfortable. Well, I guess just need to pick up a couple more. If they can bring this back to 7-8, hard ask, I know, but they'll be very, very good looking going into the last round. Sorry, into the second half. Impact. Pushing on through. Cypher. Trying to find their shot. Just about missing head. Giving away some of their teammates and themselves as well to deaths in that pit. Nice spray comes on through from Aragon there. And that will be Weigers picking up another round in pretty emphatic fashion. So good stuff. Impact. Goes down and Weigers still with that economic advantage. You can see right now CX Esports kind of pushed up against it and well, it looks like they're forcing. Certainly something a little bit special. Tech 9s, a P90 and two AKs. That is not a common buy, I'm not going to lie to you. But parts and parcel. 
could certainly lead to something, especially with Murky leading the charge, running right through the molly, but goes down to basically nothing, and OMG able to pick that up in very short order, not respecting that utility and allowing OMG to pick a clean triple kill there, and with Soga holding the fight last as much as he will go down, Weigers clean that up, and I mean, it was looking great for CEX Esports, they had it all set up, but... These last couple of rounds have not been kind to them, and Liger's staring at power of a very split half. CX Esports. Obviously forcing up here, because, well, well, six by two. Two AKs in hand. And we're going to make these plays. Shot there from some players, but not quite land. And the Molly to keep them safe for now. OMG. Make the play out. All that smoke is just going to claim position right now. That's a good molly. Really forces Cypher into an awkward position just right out in the open to go down. But you can see much. It's some good shots. Takes down some pious, but Aragon not getting touched at all. But he's going to absolutely destroy the members of CEX Esports as they're waiting there. And now it's two versus three. They've got the rifles now. Even an AWP for Ethan here. Can you see him? Will he go for the left click? He's right in front of you. And he will indeed, as soon as he catches sight of him. Death's well lives up to his name. Unfortunately, OMG right behind manages to finish off Ifa sorry, Ifan. And this means Liger's two versus one. If MT hit that shot, that would have been so darn good. But right now, doesn't have bomb. He needs to push on out. He's on site, has everything he has to control. No one's peeking him. He has 25 seconds to make the save. That is absolutely it. But unfortunately, as soon as the shot came through, OMG was on it. Like a car bonnet. And now CEX Esports on that CT side. This might be a big struggle for them. Because economically, it can be brutal. As, as we saw from Rigers at the start. But they managed to make a comeback here. And really show... This is a good... Oh, wait. No, this is the practice rounds. Forgot about that one. I always forget about these um, in these MDL matches. Never from casting them. I'm like, why have they got a rifle and the pistol? But yeah. Wigers well, off to a good start, picking up seven rounds on that CT side, and a lot better than I've seen some other teams really do um, on this map recently. I say recently. Last time I was on the stream was about a month ago, but. It's been a very quiet month, July. But August, already starting that heating up. It's going to have some reconnects for that. We're going to go to a quick intermission, then we will be. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. CEX Esports versus Wigers in the MDL Climate Cup Season 34. As uh, we're going into the second half, and I mean, CEX started off strong, looking pretty fine, but Wigers managed to make that comeback in that second part and really bring it close. As you can see, score 8 7, and Wigers. Feeling very comfortable now. CX are going to need, obviously, very clean half. Try and pick someone up. So you need to convert off of every advantage. Not die to those really inconvenient opportunities from the T side. Because on CT, we're getting like a lot, but you have very little cash. And that's a good start for Weigers here. So we'll be off to a great start, in fact. Trying to push this one in and impact, even with the USPS. To find those kills at range. Ifant will finally pick up his own, but his team is already down two players. So with that net one player advantage, where will Weigers push? That's the big question. They've got a player up towards B. Most of them are heading up towards A, and Murky spots them out. Takes it down so early on here. And the rest of the stream. Right, that team to push on up. Into that B site, expecting the rotate. Really nice stuff from CX here, with the good read. With good shots like that from MT. I'm feeling pretty darn comfortable about it. Take that a second. Doesn't quite find the third. Gets tagged a little bit too much, and doesn't get that one, but... You can see, moving into position, 
Already behind him. CT player pushing on up. Where will he go? Nobody knows. The players moving on in, going very low there. The P250 finding the heads it needs. Well, the body shots it needs in this particular case. Done. Aragon. Trying to find these shots, but doesn't get it. Murky. Finish that one up. Pick up the defuse kit. It goes straight into the bomb. So, CEX Esports pick up that round. Very much obliged. As they are able to then get that economy in. And hopefully, not like Weigers, lose that second round. CEX. Off to a great start in the second half, but will they be able to maintain it? As we talked about, the long run is the hard part for the CT side. If you're asking about individual rounds, actually, it's not too bad for them. There's a lot of things they can do. In fact, I'd say the CT side is pretty strong. But you lose a couple of players, and it just so hurts so bad. Some players. With a nice tap there. And Weiger's on this attack. From a pretty darn comfortable. These three AKs provide them with a big opportunity here, but they've got to get one in. Well, they're very close to getting that one out. Flashes come. Cypher is waiting to try and back up their teammate. Does get two. They go two for two. It's two versus two now. And uh, Deaths will be able to make that a quick... Oh no, it was two versus three. I'm just stupid. Got a little bit excited on the Tuesday. OMG. Holding the position. This is a good smoke. It's going to make it hard for them to push on through. They're just going to jump at him. And doesn't manage to win that out at all. A nice spray comes on in. Ifan able to pick up that one. Gets the defuse. Bumping up his HLTB numbers. So nice stuff. CEX started off a little bit awkward. Because they lost that first player, but very much able to capitalize, push that one in. And now, Weiger's likely maybe going to buy a couple of pistols, but not really investing too much into this round. Not like the last one where they bought those AK. As I say that, they're playing he hero AK slash Khalil. Uh, and backing it up with some SMGs. They're looking to put a very part by in here, but it might just work. We've seen Weiger succeed with very little. Push on in. Mac 10. This is that MP9 around the corner. Cypher is waiting for that attempted push to come on through. Death is setting up the utility as the rest of Weigers starting to move into position. They're just going to rush on out and they do manage to find the first one, but unfortunately, the many guns of CEX Esports are no match for this Tech 9. Really solid stuff there from, I believe, Deaths to be able to pick that up. Sun Pius. Now, given the backup that they need, getting that bomb down has really set them up for the rest of this round. He found an MT. Going to try and push from the same position. A flash comes on out. But Deaths can't spot them out. That's a fantastic molly. And actually, baits out the move as well. Nice shot. One of the headshot position from Deaths. The molly didn't quite go where they needed, but it will allow them to finish him off as he is stuck between a rock and a hard place. CXC spots. Pick up that round and edge ever closer to winning this game. CX. Now up against that rifle round Weigers. They're looking for a shot at redemption here. Last couple of rounds look a little bit shaky. They got some good starts, but never really close it out. And that's the really difficult part. Some good HEs will lead to a lot of damage on OMG, but it still doesn't allow MT to find that kill. And with that, now there's only two players on that B side. Which is actually because CX Esports put three there originally. Um, and this is interesting to see. Obviously, you see a lot of variation of strategies on this map. I normally see two towards here. Ifan. 
get a good molly and that'll force our positions, but they're way too much. Where they are. They're not even up yet. Nice attempt at a pre-fire, but they don't find anything, and that allows Murphy to get away. It's absolute murder. Cypher doing a very similar thing to what we see saw from Aragon early in this game. Murphy closes it out. This is looking like a pretty clean round from CEX here, and they're going to continue with this streak of dominance here on the CT side. It's good stuff. CEX. Looking good on their map. <laughs> it's what you'd hope for, at the very least. As losing on this very much could set them up for a bit of an awkward position. Going to their opponent's map with a loss. Making things way more difficult than they really wanted. A nice, easy, clean map one. And it looks like right now, they're going to get it. After some troubles on that piece of Ray comes on in from Ifan. And he manages to take down a couple there, but it's going to be OMG as that remaining player trying to make the play. They shot whiffs from Murky there, and this means that the bomb goes down, and this is a good economic bonus for Wilders. Even if they lose this, they get max loss bonus, they get the plant. They have a lot of money in the bank, so should be able to buy up if lacking a little bit on utility here. And you have to think, what are you looking at for these next couple? So that's the really big overarching picture that you need to look at. Because Wigers, if they're going to bring back this map, I feel like they have to win this one, maybe. Because if they lose this, their economy gets a bit broken. Um, as you see, they're going down quite low, especially, for example, on some pyres. Um, and that is 14-7 if they lose this. And that puts the CEX with an opportunity to just put it on match point. Wang is using this timeout to try and get some sort of information on him. They're, they're trying to figure out how best to attack these strats. CX. Has looked really dominant so far on the CT side. That's what's going to make it particularly hard for Wigers. It's not like their own CT side where actually they were able to put a couple of rounds through. Murky has looked very solid on this angle and holding angles has been something the old lads are pretty darn good at. Five versus four now. Wigers' well, hope is diminishing pretty rapidly at this point. Can't even find any of these players right now. A little bit of damage. Not able to find any players. You can see them starting to rotate over towards that B side. They want to go for a pretty solid push there. But against the two players there, it's, it's going to be hard. We've seen them shut down these pushes before. They've only got three players moving on in. Cast is curse. Enacted by Ritual there is Sokka just going to rock on up. Completely destroys that attempt at holding this angle. And you can see CEX heading towards the A site. And I was talking about it. You'll see a lot of saves here on this map. CEX are saving because they want the economy and don't feel too comfortable pushing on in here in a situation with a And they can just keep a pretty solid economy by dropping to their, to their uh, dead players um, and still having all this money on players like Murky and Cypher. I mean, if you ask me, I would have pushed here, but that's because I'm greedy. Um, CX definitely making the right play. Um, showing a lot of patience. Wigers well, must be very happy to have picked up a round. After struggling to get one for a couple. And that has given them a little bit of breathing room. 
but they're still up against rifles. They're not out of the woods yet. A CX. Very much still going at full pelt. Or not going anywhere, as the case may be, because they're playing on uh, the CT side. What have utility invested in banana, but neither team looking to contest it with their bodies yet? Those both teams are playing rather back and looking for that first pick. Ligers are the ones who find it. With deaths already in boiler, this could be a good opportunity. Wins out that duel against Cypher and. Well, I guess. Pretty darn good right now in this round. And CEX have to be careful. Because with this low economy on the CT side, uh, things can deteriorate pretty rapidly. OMG. Pushing on up solo into the waiting arms of CEX, as there is literally no one on this A site right now. They lose A player. Just B. As the execute comes out into A. They're going to be able to pick up the round, all Wigers, but they lose a little bit for it. CEX is setting up for this next one and hoping that there could be a chance to turn it around. Good stuff so far from CEX, but Weig is still able to pull these one out from under their nose. And with the money that you can see uh, that Murky has, this should be another buy round, I believe. Impact can drop, Murky can drop. Uh, sorry, no, in, Murky buys for himself, drops for Cypher. And yeah, they're, they're looking pretty solid. Now, Vigas, with some good temper plays, with those good early picks off the back of players like and Pius, want to be trying to continue this opportunity. But if they don't get these early picks, Vigas are already going to strike. And this has been the story of the earlier parts of this half, and some of that CT side for them. Because they very much want to be in control of the game. They want to be forcing with that higher play count and, and very much playing it as a numbers game. Oftentimes with rifles, oftentimes with players, but it's going to be hard. CX holding four players on the A site and Murky almost going down there. Molly on B, absolutely fantastic. And CX still haven't rotated. This is uh, weird, to say the least. They should be able to rebuy for Murky if something goes wrong, but they've left that orb alone on site. And with him being smoked off, I mean, what, what does he even do here? They're going to go for this plant, but I think actually what we're going to see from CX is the same. That was really lucky. Murky just about not going down because he got out of position, but CX. Losing the round, not the war right now, as there's little to no action. Molly takes Murky down to basically nothing, and then CEX decide, right, okay, don't feel too comfortable going for this. Instead, back off and think about that next round, because they don't need much to win. They need to get two rounds in a row, basically, and then they've broken the economy of Weigers. That's not good. Now, normally, choosing a player at the end, not great. You know what? You'll live. Not really. But, losing that there hurts because you're going to get some of these other players to now force up and buy for Cypher if he doesn't go for any of these players. So, if they lose this, there there is nothing. There is nothing. CEX Esports. And they would have to wait till, uh, I mean, honestly, Weiger's tied up before they can actually put anything back on the field again. Or, still in hands for Murky, however. And that's the big one there. Oh. 
you can't. Trying to find some damage with that HE, but... This time with three players on B. Looks like a much more sensible and symmetric split. But talking about split, some players splits one of these players right down the middle. Cypher is able to pick up one. You can see the boosted player, and that really nice awareness from Murky. Weiger's going to struggle with that push right now. Some mollies coming in on to stem the tide of Weiger's. And CX in a good spot to move on over. Murky, but gives away his position, turns back around, takes out OMG. And CEX, that's the win they needed. They need to set themselves up here. And that patience that they demonstrated, not investing all their guns, not overextending, not going for those pushes, really shown here because they were able to finally pick it up. Wigers are going to buy back up. But if they lose this, it'll be a bit of an awkward force. They should still be able to put it together, but they might lack a little bit in terms of that utility. And that's going to be the key part here. Because that utility is something that allows Wigers to find those early picks. And if they can't, well, we've seen what happens to them. Just like in the last round, pushing on in into those positions against the TC, CT side, especially for CEX, um, is very difficult. I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know, Sp know any Spanish as well, chat, so uh, I, I can't cuss in Spanish. Just for you, Christ, I might have tried, but it seems a little bit unreasonable. And unreasonable as it is, Wigger's well, still pushing on with so many people. A good smoke will cut off one of these players waiting in the back. e is able to get on through. And empty trades themselves out, so it's three versus three now, and actually no sight control for Wigers. You see the boost come on through. Or tries to find its headshot, doesn't find a thing. Impact will go down, but OMG going low for it. Cypher's in position, takes down Deaths, who was waiting for him, and with OMG falling as well, and no bomb in hand for Wigers. They've got a long time to play with, but not a lot in terms of players. Going to be able to sneak into the back is Murky, and I don't think you can see this if you're Pius. you back on out. Unfortunately, it spins around for the last second. CEX, send them packing. Nice stuff from them. Wigers struggling a little bit here. CX on that match point. Now, this is a big opportunity for them to take this map one. Well, it's their pick, so they should be, and really can take control of the series. Because if they set themselves up for this, then they're going into map two, where it doesn't, it's not the end of the world if they lose it. They go into that third map, and they're really close things out. <coughs> Sorry, had a cough there. Something was tickling my throat. But what's tickling Murky's fancy right now is he is bait fishing with that orb. Takes down Soko and the refrag is not there either. So he's going to be able to get away with that one. Scott free. HE and Molly going to really force Aragon back. And CEX getting that early frag really wrests control away from Rigers that we were looking for in this final round. Little to no utility left on Rigers. Flashes. Sorry, flash to smokes and then HE. Don't know if that's really going to be enough to move on through. And with Murky holding this angle so darn well, it might just be over. It takes down his third of the round. With Boiler falling, it's only OMG. And as much as they're trying to push up Banana, things aren't working out for them. They don't have Bomb. They're going to actually manage to win out on that draw. Didn't think they were, but Cypher goes down. Doesn't really matter all too much, but with MT going down here, Wigers have... Well, they have a shot. Going to be able to get that Bomb. In just a second as they sneak on over as Murky's backing on up. CEX, they know they don't need to overextend. They're not making this mistake. They can win this round. They don't have to play it all flashy. They're old hands. They know how to roll this. And Wigers, well, the onus is on OMG to get this ace. And you certainly can do it. But it's going to be difficult, for sure. OMG's starting to move on up. Rushes a little bit there. The flash comes on through. Turns away for the second. But unfortunately, that second was all impact needed to take him down and take map one.